Hello everyone, this is Rachel Lee. I'm fixing the paint here at the studio. I just wanted you to get a look. If I can turn this without making everybody sick. Here's the cows. They're all checking me out. Here's the scene I'm going to paint. So we'll turn back around. Slowly. Here's my palette and the paint that I use, I use Williamsburg paints. Here on the side are the paints, titanium white, Egyptian violet, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, Italian burnt sienna, Italian yellow ochre, Italian green ochre, and cinnabar green light. So I have already mixed my colors. Here are my sky colors. The ground and the tree colors here. So I'm gonna get started painting. As you can see, I've got my panel attached to this uh, other panel to keep it safe and to where I can paint all around and turn it and paint to the edges. So I'm gonna start with painting the, the background. foreground and the trees. foreground color, this dark color, it's uh, Italian terra verit and Egyptian violet to make this a dark, dark color that I'm going to use just as the under, sort of the underpainting. And I'm putting it on really, really thin. that underpainting, that painting that's the yellow ochre underneath. I don't want that color to be so thick that it picks up the top when I put paint over it, it picks it up and makes it muddy. So, there's that. And then I'm going to wipe the knife, always keeping it clean. And I'm gonna put in the, the trees back there. Um, they're lovely, in the wintertime here in North Carolina, they're a lovely purplish gray sort of color. So I'm taking this color, this paint, And just putting in those trees. See how I've got it on my knife here? Just a little bit. Not trying to get real picky about it, just putting in the color, just getting in that bit there because I'm going to come back and adjust this. And here again, this color is very very thin. So 
open that knife again. Now for the sky. Sky you typically is darker at the top and coming down and lighter. And the sky today has got a, a lot of s s thin, wispy kind of clouds. I'm going to start with this darker color. And we're going to start at the top and go down. Let's put that darker color there. arm in the way just now, didn't I? It's okay. Here again, it doesn't have to be so picky about it. Just really just wanting to get that panel covered. Making it really thin. And wiping my knife again. I'm going to go to the second color. The first color was ultramarine blue and white. Here we got just a little tiny bit of ultramarine blue and white and a lot of white and a teeny tiny bit. They look blue. Remember that's a very strong color. So what I'm going to do is just get that color on there, just get that little This is the beauty of having this panel on the board is because you can take it and you can really move it around to where any you can get to any part of the painting. So now that I've wiped the knife again, I'm going to take this. this up into this. Get that feeling of those wispy clouds. And if I get paint on the edge, I just take it and wipe it off. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to be coming back to that, but I'm going to take this mostly white, but a little bit of the this mixture here, and I'm going to take it and come up to the trees with it. This is going to be the lighter clouds that are settling there at the horizon, those wispy clouds. Nudging it up there to those to that line of trees. And here again. I'm gonna take it and just smooth it out. It's the angle of the knife. It's how you hold that knife.
fan. It's the way you can tell plein air painting. If you got bugs and sticks, little bits of leaves on your painting, it's a plein air painting. So I've kind of um, got that illusion of the sky. You don't want anything to be too regular, sort of wisp it around. Wisp it around. What a thing to say. Okay, so then I feel like I've got my sky in. I could sit here and mess with it all day. But I do see up here it's a little thin, so I'm going to... Um, Actually, I'm going to take this little mixing knife. This is the greatest tool in the world. And I'm going to take a little bit of this. I mean, a tiny bit. I'm going to mix it in with the altering blue, marine blue and white. Make a little darker blue. There. We'll put that at the very top. Always wanting to save the pain, aren't we? So then I'll take a little bit of that and put that up here. Got a little too thin. Those different levels of color are going to make that the texture and beauty of the sky come out. smooth it holding that knife almost flat really like this right here all right so the ground the foreground looks a lot darker, of course, than it really is, but we're going to fix that. I'm going to take some of this uh, green here. It's got just a little bit of green. I've got a, uh, I want to show you, I've got a visitor. And here she is. She's saying, what's going on? What's happening here? We're painting, my dear. Don't worry about it. So, back to the painting. I'm going to take this and... Uh, <coughs> just add a little of this green and... Terraveric green and doxazine purple or Egyptian violet. Now that's sort of in the background, and, he, and in the foreground where the cows are laying here, some of the cows, most of them are up here right now beside me watching. It's lighter than that. So we're going to use a bit of this. This color is Italian green ochre mixed with a little cinnabar green and Italian here there trying to just get the essence of the scene not really get so picky and up here I have some Italian terra verde, excuse me Italian green ochre and uh, Italian yellow ochre and a little bit of white. So there's a bunch of hay strung up there where the cows are laying in there. And I just want to sort of get a 
feeling of that hay there where the cows are laying. I could paint the cows in there, but that's for another day. Today we just want to get the, the basic basic landscape here. So these trees back here, I'm always trying to keep my knife clean. These trees here are really a soft purpley color. So what I'm going to do is lighten this up just a little bit in places. It's not all the same color along the side, that, that line of trees. Also what I'm going to try to do is bring some of those trees up into the sky. And then I'm going to keep wiping my knife because there's plenty of paint on there. time I'm coming up I'm wiping that knife making sure that I'm holding it at the right angle now that's not too bad but some of those trees are leaning what I'm going to do is make a little bit lighter color here. I'm using my painting knife instead of my mixing knife. That's okay. I'm just going to put some lighter areas in here. Take a look at it. Not too bad. So then we're just going to take maybe a little of this and put it up here at the tree line. This is that Italian terra verde and doxazine purple. Now it seems like this foreground is really busy, so what I'm going to attempt to do is just sort of smooth it out. other yellow ochre and Italian terra verde. white so 
believe I need some more. Cane tear usually should be mixed with something else. It's just a color that's just too not not real good green all by itself. Now it also has some evergreens back there. So what we're gonna do is just should have the paint on the edge of the knife, not way up on the knife like I was doing. So, there you go. That's the painting for today. And tomorrow, we'll be seeing another painting. Thank you very much for watching.